phase three Odyssey trial constituted what was really the largest phase three program in the lipid lowering space to date, focusing on the ability of now to lower LDL in patients who are at high cardiovascular risk or who have FH who need additional LDL lowering despite maximally tolerated doses of statins, as well as in patients who actually can't tolerate statins. So we conducted the trial in twofold. One, we looked at the ability of Prowiewit 150 milligrams to lower LDL robustly in a long-term study called Odyssey Long-Term. About 2,500 patients treated for 18 months. In another trial, set of trials, we looked at the ability of Prowiewit starting at 75 milligrams to reduce LDL in either the FH patients or the high-risk patients. If they didn't get to their predefined treatment goal at the 75 milligram dose, we subsequently up-titrated to the 150 milligram dose, and then the trials were able to continue. All studies were for a minimum of six months, but some trials ran to 12, 18, or even 24 months. In addition to every two-week dosing regimens, we've also studied alirocumab in every four-week doses primarily the 300 milligram dose. It's an alternative dosing regimen for our patients. The results really demonstrated that genetics really teach us a lot about both cardiology and lipid lowering. It showed us that Prime or Aliracumab, the PCSK9 inhibition was able to provide robust LDL reduction for our patients. In fact, actually, the majority of our patients got to their treatment goal just with the 75 milligram dose. And those who didn't actually were able to get to their goal with the 150 mg dose. In fact, patients who have FH, the highest form of uh, LDL disruption, actually over 60% of those patients were able to get to their predefined goal with the 75 milligram dose. Well, over 80 to 90% of our high risk patients were able to get to their goal with the 75 milligram dose as well. We also found robust reductions with the 300 milligram dose. Overall, we saw that a 75 milligram every two weeks of frowning provides a 45 to 50 percent reduction in the LDL. And when we look at the 150 milligram dose, we see approximately a 60 percent reduction. We saw that the 300 milligram dose gave somewhere in between.